Hey guys, this is AC Service Tech, and today what we're looking at is a diagnosis of a contactor. Okay, so if a homeowner says that the indoor fan is running, uh, but the outdoor condenser is not running uh, in cooling mode, what I typically ask is, do you hear a humming noise? A lot of times you hear a humming noise coming from the contactor. Now the newer contactors, you won't typically hear that as much. Uh, but some of the older contactors, like this one right here, you'll hear a humming noise, okay? But what you do is you have your multimeter set to volts AC, and you can just check it right here. This is the 24-volt coil on the side. You want to make sure that your probes do not touch anything else. All right, make sure your hands are not touching any metal, okay? And you can test to see if you have 24 volts right on this contact right here. And as you see, we have, it depends on how good of a contact you have that you're making here. We have 27 volts, okay? So with these probes, you want to dig in a little bit just to get in nice and tight into the electrical part, uh, into the electrical connection, all right? So we know we have 24 volts. We also see the contactor is sucked in presently, all right? If the condenser is not running, now we can check our incoming voltage, which is right here, all right? In this case, we have zero volts, and then now we just need to see if maybe the breaker popped or the disconnect is unplugged or, or what have you, okay? If you just heard that, that contactor uh, just uh, let go, okay? And right now, we most likely do not have any volts, okay? And that would be due to the thermostat is no longer calling for cooling. All right, there's a second floor AC here, and then there's this first floor AC. And the second floor might have had cooling fall down to the first floor, and the thermostat's no longer pulling for cooling in this case, all right? You can actually see the contactor is pushed in now, okay? It's off right now. So 24 volts being applied to this will close the electrical connections coming across here by sucking in the plunger, all right? That closes the electrical connections here, all right, and this is normally closed from here to here, okay? You have 220 volt legs, okay, which make 240 volt, one here and one here, all right? So if we have no voltage coming into the unit, we need to check the electrical disconnect box, all right, or the uh, breaker. We're basically just tracing it back to the uh, voltage origin, all right, to find out where the problem is, all right? But, uh... That's, that's basically that. Um, if you were to check the resistance of this uh, contactor, just say you had 24 volts here, okay? So we, we put our probes here and we had 24 volts. If nothing was happening and we did have 120 and 120 here, meaning that we have 240 volts ready to go, if we had that, uh, then what we want to do is we want to go ahead and test the contactor. All right, so how you do that is you just pull this off right here. All right, we're going to be isolating the contactor. When you isolate the contactor, you should go ahead and pull the disconnect or turn it off just to make sure everything's safe here. All right. And then you're going to turn your multimeter to resistance. And then we're going to read the resistance of the actual contact. All right, make sure you press in, you know, somewhat hard. Just try to dig in to make sure you get a good resistance reading. And here you see we have 17.6 ohms of resistance. All right. And I don't know if you can make it out, but that is the coil back there. There is a coil of electrical wire. All right. And to have resistance is a good thing. It's on contactors, it's somewhere around 20 ohms of resistance on a, on a regular contactor like this. Um, but uh, we had 17.6, so that's good. If we had 0.0, .0 then that means that that coil is burnt together, all right? Like it's shorted, all right? If we had OL, just like we have right now, when we read resistance of the 24 volt coil, okay? not the 240 volt lines, but the, the 24 volt coil, if we read that, and we got OL, then that means that that coil right down here is actually burnt apart, all right? It's an electrical um, solenoid that 
so just sucks this contact in just like this. Once again, the power is off right now, so I'm just showing you the plunging action there. Okay? If we were to read from here to here, okay, we get OL. All right. Once again, the disconnect is, is off. All right. When I press this in, we're checking the contact right now, and we have um, basically uh, zero ohms of resistance. Okay, you know, point point five. But that has to do with how hard I'm touching on these contacts with the probes. Okay. So this contactor is is working. Sometimes I've seen these contactors actually melt and actually kind of like weld the electrical connection in the on position. I've seen that. I've also seen spiders build webs underneath the contacts. So even though this sucks in, it's not making a contact connecting from from one point to the next. And that's how you can just you can just read it just like this on resistance and just press it in like I was showing you. All right, so that contactor is good. All right, so we can go ahead and plug in our 24 volt wires again. Our problem with this is just that we don't have line voltage. We're missing our 240 volts on this coming in. All right, but that's how it's done. Basically, what you want to do is you want to replace a contactor with the same amperage readings. All right, so you want to same FLA readings. Uh, full load amps. So, change out the same contactor for the same size contactor. It has to do with the amperage going across these contacts right here. All right. If you put a smaller contactor in, and this this unit's a five ton uh, unit, and the compressor is drawing more amps than say a two ton would, you would need a larger contactor uh, for this particular one. All right. You can get them in 20, 25, 30, 40, um, 60 FLA. Uh, so you just want to get different, a couple different sizes for your service truck. All right. Hope you enjoyed yourself. See you next time at AC Service Tech Channel.